Hello everyone and welcome to Master J Speed's video on the unboxing of Rome Total War Collector's Edition. Now what I'm going to do is kind of just go through all the bits and pieces and see what's in there really. Have a look around. So it's a fantastic, beautiful case to begin with. Very nice work by Creative Assembly. It gives you an explanation of everything that's on the back there. And let's crack this open and see what we have inside. Alright, All right, so that's evidently fallen out. Okay, well, we might as well start with that then. So, as you can see on the inside there, all the bits and pieces that there are in the box. This, I believe, is a map. There you go, it's a fold out map of all of the different states you can get for in Rome. And so, everything you can pick out your targets, see where you want to start from, depending on who you choose as a faction. But you'll also be able to just have a plan out and have a look at how it used to look back thousands of years ago. Okay, so we'll put that to one side. And let's start next with the case. Alright, so that's the steel tin book. Let's see if that can focus properly. There we go, that's the steel tin book. And each of them has their own unique set of Roman numerals on there for the serial number, because there's only 22,000 of these in the world. It sounds like quite a lot, but it really is, you know, it's quite awesome. So, fairly standard, you got all your game discs in there, and the booklet for it, you know, explaining all the new bits and pieces. And now, if I do my math correctly, I believe this number, if that focuses right, um, is 2,589 and the reason I know that is because um, on here the bracketed eyes also mean a thousand and the looks, looks like a smiley face with an eye is 500 because that's a shorthand for D although I could be wrong on that so someone correct me in the comments if you do know if I'm talk, talking completely rubbish and I don't know what one I've got okay so let's move on from that and what you've got there is a piece of paper with looks like the rules and explanation of all the diff different bits and pieces you get in there. So you've got the board game, which is the Roman board game. Uh, the Punic Wars trading card game, which I think is here. So it looks quite nice. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Now what else have we got in here? So yeah, it looks like just a rule story. They've come up with their own trading game with the cards. Um, and it looks like some sort of form of backgammon on the back, so I'll have to figure out that in a minute. Let's put that away. Uh, next looks like a set of uh, counters and dice to play some of the games. Also just be nice dice to use in any other you know, tabletop games that you've got going. Let's have a look in there. Alright, that's very nice. Okay, so you've got, you've got all the counters for the backgammon. And also a couple of nice Roman dice in there, which is quite cool. Uh, look, what else? Now, the bit that I've probably looked forward to the most. And this little unassuming box is a catapult. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. It's probably one of the main reasons I wanted it. Well, and the fact that I'm a big fan of Rome Total War. So, let's open this up and have a look. And see what's inside. So far, fairly unassuming. Okay. So in there. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, so we've got ourselves our DIY trebuchet. Which I'm assuming that there aren't any instructions for. So that could be entertaining. I might put up another little video of that. Me trying to attempt to construct this and at least firing it at some targets. But that's fantastic. I mean, you've got the Total War sign on there, let's see if I can get that looking properly, there we go fantastic looking logo on there, nice sturdy ropes between for the catapults bit of glue, can't go wrong with that and oh, it looks like this, the handle to wind back the catapult and one tiny no, that's just it there we go, mm, firing catapult, firing away alright, um, running out of space now, there's a lot of stuff in here Alright, so let's do that. Let's do that. And I think, last but not least, if I remember rightly, if 
I take all of this out, the actual board game itself is inside the box. Yes, it is. Right, that's fantastic. Let's move this out of the way. Get that one out as well. Oh, there we go. I lied. The parts for the assembly are in the back of it. Right, there we go. Okay, so that, that does tell you how to build it all, which does look quite fun. So I'll get building that later. Fantastic set of instructions there. And yeah, in the bottom, you've got what looks like the board game, which is the Punic Wars. Um, so yeah, that's the trading card game. And the. Um, for all of the counters for playing what looks like some sort of old backgammon, which looks fantastic. Well, all in all, that's a pretty awesome collector's edition. Probably one of the best I've come across, I would have thought. Now, most of them usually just have some art books and bits and pieces like that, but this, this looks pretty awesome. So, I'll have a build about and, and tidy up here, and then I might put a video up of me trying to build a trebuchet. Alright, this is Master J Speed signing off.